GMB TV. Yeah, like, come on, follow me. Let's see what we got. Listen closely if you trying to eat. Get passive income, got that money flowing in my sleep. Young and please, got 30,000 on my wrist, 10 on my fist. That 18 around my neck, make I can show respect. You looking at a guard, exhorting no fears. About five in each ear, that's what you want to hear. VA. Remember what I told you, right? Yeah. What I said? It's grown man business. It's grown man business. I mean, it is what it is, and it'll be what it's going to be at all times, my Gs, at, at all times. And we all see what's going on with the Young Dolph case. We all see what's transpiring with the Young Dolph assassination. Now, they got a third suspect in custody. You understand me? They got a third suspect in custody surrounding the situation with Young Dolph. And I got to say, man, it's, it's bittersweet for me. This Young Dolph situation is bittersweet because the Young Dolph, the, the Empire Death Row Records, that's really when I got some traction in this YouTube game. You understand me? A lot of my day one subscribers, a lot of my day one investors came to GMB TV when I got to talking and giving up that real game about what happened to Young Dolph. Now, again, when I stepped into this thing, I was, I was blind man shuffling. I didn't really know what was going on. I didn't really know how to go about this thing. I just knew that the downloads was telling me, GMB TV, you got to say something about this. GMB TV, you got to give up some real game on this situation that happened with Young Dolph. And you know, we approaching a one year anniversary. We approaching a one year anniversary of the assassination of a king. Of a young Don, you understand me? Like young Dolph, man. And I mean, again, like I said before, one thing for sure, two things for certain, it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet because, you know, you never want to see a young king like that assassinated in a little cookie shop with his arm hanging out the window. You never want to see that. You understand me? But at the same time, I was able to give up so much game on that situation that that got the attentions of the high erupts and the elites. You got to know, that was the that was the point where the higher ups and the elites on these platforms said, listen, we gonna see if if grown man business is really about that business, or if he's in this for the likes, if he's in this for the subscribes or for the fame. You understand me? We gotta figure out how to trick him out of his position. And that's when they found out that I, I wasn't in it for none of that. I'm in it to drop this game. I'm in it to, to keep it 100 about the situations that I speak on. And I got to say R.I.P. to Young Dolph. You understand me? My condolences again to his family, to his kids. I mean, it is such a tragic situation. Tragic. You know what I mean? Terrible. Just disgusting situation, man. What happened in that cookie shop. You know, and I remember, you know, I remember. Look, listen, it's raining really hard out there right now. I'm sure y'all can hear it in the background, but it is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. The energies and the downloads don't lie. The energies and the downloads said, GMB, go ahead and speak on this. Now, I want to tell y'all one thing for sure, two things for certain. On the one year anniversary of Dolph's passing away, on the one year anniversary of Dolph's assassination, we're going to go live, man. We gonna go live for a few hours, you understand me? And we gonna reminisce, and I'm and I'm gonna do. We gonna go stream yard, and I'm gonna have y'all come in and tell me the thing, cause you gotta understand something. You know those videos I did about Young Dolph and, and Empire Death Row Records. You know it was hitting the nail on the head all the way to the point where I still got people having drawn out conversations in those comment sections of those videos all the way to this day. Videos I did a whole year ago, people are still liking and still going into the comment section on those videos and they're still having debates about what happened to Young Dolph. Now again, I told y'all, man, you got the chaos, you got the circus, and then you got the calm. You got the chaos, you got the circus, and then you got the calm. So for a long time, it was a lot of chaos. People trying to figure out what's going on, figuring out about straight drop and him going on a run and doing the chase, doing the dash and then them catching straight drop and catching his homie and figuring out they ain't even got no money. They they going to court 
You understand me? With public defenders. You know, hearing the things that, that black youngsters were saying. Hearing the subliminals that, that, that Gotti was saying. Yeah, I mean, it got deep. It got wicked. And it was always deep in the rap when you scratching the surface. Always been deeper than rap, my G. So to a lot of my new subs, um, a lot of my new investors, you know, I wouldn't be mad at you if you went back into those videos. You understand what I'm saying? Did some homework. You know what I'm saying? Brushed up on the, on the information. I mean, it is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. But some of my greatest work, you understand? I mean, we only getting better. We only going up. It's constant elevation. We never going to stop. But one thing you got to understand is when I started dropping those Empire Death Row record videos, a lot of people didn't know about the insurance schemes. A lot of people didn't know about the insurance policies that are written into these contracts. You know, the game I was giving up on that level was 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 untouched at that time. It was it was nobody talking about that yet. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where GMB TV started to really make a name for itself in this YouTube thing. It is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. But you got to know it was getting hot for me even back then, even back then, you know, so. You already know how we do over here at Grown Man Business TV. We're going to get into this clip. We're going to double back. And we're going to get a little deeper into this angle. You understand me? We're going to get into this clip, double back, and get a little bit deeper into this angle. But it's always R.I.P. to Young Dolph. It's always R.I.P. to a young king that was assassinated. By the high erupts and the elites. Now I know they got who they want. They got beyonds. But yeah, yo, we gonna get into these clips. We gonna double back. We gonna get into these angles. Gang. Information that a third suspect has now been indicted and arrested in Dolph's murder. Fox 13's Jeremy Pierre is in studio with us right now. He's been working this story all day. Jeremy, you've got information about a third suspect. Information you won't hear anybody else or hear anywhere else, I should say. Yeah, that third suspect is Hernandez Govan. I just got my hands on documents which show police arrested and a grand jury indicted him this afternoon. Several sources told me Govan is now facing first degree murder, criminal attempted first degree murder, and conspiracy to commit first degree murder charges. According to those documents I obtained, these charges go back earlier than Dolph's death. We are talking about several months before the rapper's death. This leads us to believe during those several months before the shooting, investigators believe there was a plan to murder young Dolph. Right now, we do not know where police arrested Hernandez, Govan. I am digging deeper into the documents I obtained. Again, we have learned Memphis police have made a third arrest in the murder of Memphis rapper Young Dolph. This is based on an indictment handed up from a grand jury, I will have much more on this breaking news story tonight on Fox 13 News at 9 and 10. Darcy, Dow. Right, thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, so you know, really quick, you'll remember we had those those the, those first two arrests, and the MPD told us mm -hmm. that there there's, was somebody there's a else. lot more mm -hmm. to unravel. This was mm -hmm. not a one and done case. And, and as a matter of fact, there's much more to be unraveled. Um, I'm wor working right now to actually go through the entire indictment. There are a lot of names in this indictment, um, for sure, and more arrests possibly could come. This is interesting because we're about a week away from the actual death of yeah. Young Dolph. Next Thursday. Next Thursday. The anniversary. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. thank you so thank much. You, Keep us up there. Jeremy, good information. Damn! Today is um, a week from the anniversary of me losing Adolph. And this almost year has been the most challenging year I've ever had to face in my life. And it's like the closer I get to this year mark, man, I just be so like, it's like trying to be positive about something so messed up. It comes to a breaking point to where it's like, it's really just unfair, man. And then you get down to it, the reasoning behind it, whatever. It's not, it's never good enough. It's never good enough. Like, is this shit gonna ever change? Like, is this just really the way of the world? And I be feeling so fucked up, dog. I be feeling so messed up. That's what I'm talking about, my G's. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? 
I told y'all the big bag is held at the top, opened up and poured out. And the sprinkle of them crumbs and them breadcrumbs, they come all the way down to the bottom, all the way down to the peons, all the way down to the birds, and they get bird fed. So you looking at these three suspects, they saying, hey, we got the killers, we got the shooters, but you always got to know it's deeper than rap. It's deeper than rap. If you go into those old videos, you will be able to see me break that down. You know, again, it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet, this, this one-year anniversary approaching for Young Dolph's assassination, man. Bittersweet, because, you know, you never want to see a young king taken out like that, taken away from his family, taken off of this earth, man. And it's only been happening over and over and over, like really redundant since Dolph was assassinated. I mean, it is what it is, and it'll be what it's going to be. But, you know, these videos, these videos that I dropped, during that time is what brought a lot of my day one investors, a lot of my day one subscribers, a lot of the people that's still here right now, still come to every, every video, still get up in every comment section and lock in with GMB TV. You know what I mean? Time and energy, the highest forms of currency. A lot of these guys, a lot of these women, a lot of these people came when the Dolph situation dropped. So again, I just want to say big salute to y'all. Big salute to the day ones. We only growing and we growing organically and it's constant elevation. We not going to stop. So keep tuning in. Keep tapping in. Keep bringing your time and your energy to this channel. And we only going to continue to go up. And again, I want to say R.I.P. to Dolph, man. R.I.P. to a young king that was assassinated in his own town. I mean, it is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? We, You know, you stood on business. You stood on business, Dolph. And trust me, just like Nipsey. You know, you're still making ripples in this ocean. Your presence is still here. We still feel you, my G. It is what it is, and it'll be what it's going to be. But but you opened the eyes for a lot of sheep. It was a lot of sheep out there. And the downloads that I was able to receive opened the eyes of a lot of sheep. So it is what it is, and it'll be what it's going to be. But we still standing on 10 toes. This is Grown Man Business TV, the Oracle. Big GMB TV, the Oracle. And don't you forget the TV. And don't, you better remember the Oracle. Don't forget the TV. And I'm telling you, you better remember the Oracle. We only going up. Huh? You feel me? So, so again, on Dolph's one-year anniversary, we going to go live. I want y'all to be aware. I want y'all to be looking out for the notifications. We going to fill up the live stream. The stream y'all going. And, and we're going to have people come up and tell stories about the first time they saw GMB's videos. The first time they, they heard about Dolph being assassinated. we just going to reminisce on such a bittersweet situation. It is what it is and it'll be what it's going to be. It gets deep. It gets wicked. And it's always deep in the rap when you're scratching the surface. And here at Grown Man Business TV, we definitely scratching the surface. We came a long way and we only going up. We cannot be stopped over here. We not chasing anything. We manifest everything. You understand me? We not we not chasing nothing. It is what it is, and it'll be what it's gonna be, man. So again, R.I.P. to a young king. That one year anniversary is bittersweet. We gonna go up though. We gonna turn up for Dolph. This is God's work. Dang. GMB TV. Yeah. Hey, come on, follow me. Let's follow me. Let's see what we got. Listen closely if you trying to eat. Got passive income, got that money flowing in my sleep. Young and please, got 30,000 on my wrist, 10 on my fist. That 18 around my neck, make I can show respect. You looking at a guard, exhorting no fears. About five in each ear, that's what you want to hear. VA, Remember what I told you, right? Yeah. What I say? Let's go, man, business. Grown man business.